Hey, welcome to Beale Science. I have spent 12 months exploring giant bubbles and wands and testing recipes, and it's been bubble madness for an entire year. And finally, I'm able to bring you the very best giant bubble recipes that I've found and the best ways to make a wand. So I'm gonna show you how to do all of it because I think you'll find out once you make some bubbles, especially giant bubbles, there's something just really magical about it. So here we go, giant bubbles from Beale Science. Yeah! When I tell you that we have tested just about every recipe that we could find to make giant bubbles, I'm not lying. In fact, I had my students working on different recipes, I had them testing different recipes, and ultimately we started to boil it down to the very best ones. And then we took those and tested them even further. We tested them in different conditions, we tested them to different sizes, we tested them with different wands, we've tested it all. And one thing is for certain, you know, testing bubble recipes is fun for all ages. We had three main requirements for our bubble solution recipes. Number one, they had to be easy to make. Some of the recipes out there are far too complicated. Number two, they had to store well. Some of the recipes molded. We don't want mold. And number three, well, it's got to make big bubbles. This is number one. These are the supplies you're gonna need. The Dawn dish soap that I'm using works really, really well. There are other options out there and you'll see down in the description, there's a link. I'm gonna take you to somewhere where you can look at all the different options for soap. As far as the water, make sure you're using distilled water, not tap water. It can introduce a lot of impurities. These other things, the J-Lube, the surge lube and the Glycerol, those ones don't necessarily mix into water very well. So you're gonna see at the end of this, I'm gonna remind you, let this whole thing sit for at least 24 hours. I found when it sits for seven days or longer, it actually gets better and better and better. In fact, I have some solution that sat for three months and it still worked perfectly well. So it met the requirements that it stores well and does not mold. There are a lot of bubble recipes on the internet that will make bubbles this size, maybe a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit bigger, and they work just fine. But they don't meet those requirements that I said earlier. And if you wanna make giant, massive bubbles, you've gotta go with a recipe like this because the other ones just don't stand up. How do I know? Well, we tested them. We tested them all. And this is my number one favorite recipe. My number two favorite recipe is this one. The reason I like it, it's much more simple. I really feel like anybody can make this recipe and still make very big bubbles. Now they may not be quite as big as recipe number one, but for most people, you're not trying to make 20 foot bubbles. You're just trying to make big bubbles in the backyard. So this one would be just fine for you. We've made dozens and dozens of bubble wands. This one is my absolute favorite because anybody can make it. If you've got an old t-shirt laying around, you can make this one. And it works really, really well. And if you have some good thick yarn sitting around the house or you have some nice cotton string, you can use that too. But I really like this t-shirt method. giant bubble wand is much more complicated, but of course, as you can see, it will allow you to make giant, giant 
bubbles. Mop head is made up of a few strands. They're just really, really long, but you gotta get it apart first to get to those strands. This takes forever. Forever, ever. So that's why I went with the mop is because it's made to absorb. I have officially spent two hours dismantling the mop head. Although it takes long to get it apart because it's not meant to come apart. I want it thicker. So we're gonna braid these three together so we have nice absorbent strain. That's the good braid. That's what we need to trap all that bubble juice in there. Very nice. I did test out a couple different types of cotton rope, but it was never as good as the mop. Well, I'm choosing to use a 12 foot crappie fishing pole, which is just a really simple fishing pole that's all nested inside itself so that we can get some massive bubbles. Look at this thing. There seems to be a constant debate on the internet about how long do I make my string or my wick. I found that six foot on each side worked really well. Much larger than that, I had trouble getting bubbles that held together for very long. But of course, that's where you experiment. Now, to attach this, I just took some wire and put it on the crappie pole. And then I attached little hooks so that I could change out all my different wick or all my different wand fabric. And then, me and my lab assistant, we make bubbles. We make giant bubbles. We take it everywhere we go. I mean, everybody loves the giant bubbles. the giant bubbles amazing i'm telling you get out there try these recipes or try to make your own i think you're going to find they're absolutely magical you know we got a ton of stuff going on at beale science bealscience.com hit the subscribe button down there please and i'll keep making more videos but i want to remind you keep on learning thanks for watching